Hi, so in this particular video we're going to look at a triangular prism. Okay, and uh, this is uh, around about D, C grade at GCSE. And it looks at two particular parts of the triangular prism, one of which is the surface area and the other of which is the volume. So let me just draw you a quick diagram of what it's looking like. So we've got a triangular prism, which is a bit like... Um, well, in the UK, we have uh, a chocolate bar called Toblerone, okay, and it comes in a triangular box, okay, and on its side, it looks something like that. Now, this particular dimension we've been given is uh, three centimeters, four centimeters, the depth here is seven centimeters, and the hypotenuse here, which is this bit, is five centimeters okay so uh, the first thing we're going to look at is going to be the total surface area okay so what we're looking at is the total surface area so in other words if you got yourself a piece of cardboard okay and you wanted to make this triangular prism how much cardboard would you need in order to make it okay so what we're going to do is look at um, effectively folding it all out so if you imagine that uh, what I'm going to try to do is draw a little net of what it would look like well at the side here if you imagine this triangle is folded out I've got something that looks like that okay it's like a door flap that's kind of opened up this way and on the back I've got a rectangular bit and then I've got another door flap at the other end here okay at the bottom I've got a hatch that goes like that okay and I've also got at the this this bit here is the very back of the of the uh, the box so it's kind of a bit like if I I can't really draw it so well on the board but it's this bit of the back here and then you've also got this front surface area well the front surface area if you like is this bit here which is going to fold down on the top okay so let's put in some dimensions and make sure that we can work out the total surface area well um, what we've got really is um, three rectangular bits We've got this top flap here, which is this piece here. I'm going to call it uh, A, okay? So A is a rectangle, okay? And that rectangle has a length here, which we're given as 5, and a width here, which we're given as 7. So the A rectangular surface area is going to be 5 times 7, which is going to be 35, uh, and we know it's centimetres squared, okay? So the next little bit is the back of this triangular bit, which is this B bit here. OK, so B is going to be another rectangle. OK, and that rectangle, well, we know from the drawing that the depth of it, the height of the triangular box is going to be four. And the width of it is exactly the same as the width of the front flap, which is seven also. So four times 7 is 28 and again that's centimeters squared okay so the bottom flat which we're going to call c is the base of the unit so we've got c which is the base of the unit okay now again if we look at the diagram we can see it's three centimeters in depth so it's three there and seven again so three times seven is 21 okay and then finally I've got these two flaps well I'm going to do them separately so I've got D which is this one here it says D okay and that flap looks like uh, this okay now the area of a triangle you have to remember is a half a B times C so you imagine really that it's a rectangle and then do half of it so let's just get the dimensions in first we see this triangle at the side here it's three and then four height. Okay, well, the area of a triangle is a half of, if I write it, is a half a B. Okay, well, this is A and this is B. It doesn't really matter which way around you do it, but four times three is 12, multiplied by half, so that's going to be six centimeters on this D. And it's actually going to be the same for E, which is the other uh, triangular 
uh, bit, I'll put this at the bottom here, I appreciate it's probably coming off the video, but it's exactly the same as four and three at the bottom here, and that's also going to be six, and that's also a half a B. Okay, so what we've got now is um, five components to this triangular prism. The first one is 35 centimetres, the second one is 28, 21, 6 and 6. And you can see where those components have come from if you have a look at the grid. Maybe uh, if you get a bit of paper and try and make one up for yourself, it might give you some idea of how this triangular prism surface area is going to look. So what I'm going to do is add those up. Now if I add them up, it's going to total 96 centimetres squared. Now remember it's an area measurement, so it's a square measurement. So that's going to be the total value of the total surface area of this triangular prism. Okay, I'm going to use exactly the same prism in the next video, um, and in that particular one I'm going to talk about volume. Um, I hope this is helpful to, to you. Please do add a comment below, uh, stop the video, have a look at some of the things that I've done there, and uh, please add a comment and I will get back to you. Uh, please subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.